Muhammad Hijab gets completely humiliated by this very intelligent Christian man of God about the corruptness of the Quran. And it's very interesting because Muslims like to say the Bible's corrupt, but in fact, he shows a lot of evidence proving the contrary, that the Bible's reliable and authentic and has been preserved, while the Quran, the book that the Muslims follow in Islam, is actually corrupted itself. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope that you guys can go ahead and donate to the ministry to support my cause. Please become a member of my website, www.thinkingmindsministry.com. So in case I do get banned or anything like that, you guys can go ahead and watch my content over there. The link will be below. You guys can go ahead and donate on PayPal. I keep the most finances that way. And to represent Jesus Christ, go ahead and buy our MABA merch, Make America Born Again. You don't have to be in America to support the brand. But thank you guys so much. Let's go ahead and uh, get into this really good video so apply the scrutiny of the quran to the bible as well yeah sure. that way it's fair sure. so let me ask you the same question is it accurate to say that the bible has been written let's answer my first question yeah i've already answered it i said yes no, no. okay well has the bible the bible been perfectly preserved yeah i would say no okay good so okay. so so the, the, hold on so so just on the level okay. on the statements that we're making yeah. on the level of the statements that we're making here that I'm saying the Quran is perfectly preserved. Yeah. You're saying the Bible is not perfectly preserved. Yeah. On that level by itself, Dang. do you feel like there's any implications on the fact that the Bible is not perfectly preserved? On the, the, the fact that Christianity is okay. true or not? Okay. Right. First of all, no, I don't think so. Okay. Because Christians do not hold our scripture yeah. in the same way that Muslims hold their scripture. Yeah. So as no, 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 but that's not my question. My question is, you said no, that's, you've answered that question. Okay. Yeah, all right. What I was saying yeah. is that this is just a you can answer uh, answer this for me if you wouldn't mind. Yes, in Islam, yep. is it the view that the Quran is preserved eternally with Allah on tablets? Is that the view? On tablets or a tablet? A tablet. I guess a tablet. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, the Quran and all of the the, the texts, the Torah and the Injil. In fact, the conversation that we're having right. The conversation that we're having right now yeah. is preserved in that tablet. So all the variations okay. as well. Of, so this is very important. Any variant, yeah, any textually acceptable variant of the Quran is also preserved in the tablets. Yes. Also preserved. So then it wouldn't matter if someone had made a mistake in the transmission of the Quran because that mistake is also still preserved in the eternal tablets. No, it would matter because obviously we would say, and this goes back to your first question as well, right? Mm -hmm. That the Quran is meant as a guidance for humankind. Today as well. Yeah, yeah, for human beings. So the end user is meant to be human beings. So if clearly, we would say if God revealed the scripture, whether it's the Quran or the Gospels or the Torah or whatever, that if it doesn't reach all the people in the same way as it originally reached the initial primary audience, then there's a discrepancy in the access to guidance that end users will have, which will make, which will put questions of, is God being just here in his, uh, you know, uh, Delivery of the oh, yeah, message okay. online. Do you understand? I think you're going on a bit there. Listen, what I want to get out. Do you understand what I've just yes, said? Yes, sir, what have I just said? Listen, what, what I want to talk What about, have I just said? You talk about how there could be differences in. Uh, no, yeah, that's listen. not what I. You see, guys, this is what he tries to do. It's a common deflection topic and tactic in order for him to be able to escape the line of questioning from this man of God or this Christian. Um, he What he likes to do is he likes to kind of like. He, he'll say something, he'll throw a dart, and then he'll say, can you explain this dart for me? Before you actually answer my question, explain to me what I just said. And then he'll try to counter everything you're saying, play all these semantic games, and then you get to never answer his question. And then he'll say, and then like he'll just keep piling more and more and more questions before you can even answer the first one. So it's a very disingenuous tactic that he uses in order for you to never answer his, any of his questions. And then to these ignorant Muslims that fangirl over him, like, Muhammad, you know, what they'll do is they'll just go ahead and be like, oh, yeah, well, smart Muhammad hijab win. You know, he couldn't answer any of these questions. He stumped that Christian. No, you didn't. You just pretty much manipulated the whole conversation and you carefully crafted it in a way where he couldn't answer literally any of your questions, even though he had the responses for them. But you manipulated in such a way where he couldn't even answer your questions. It's not an actual conversation where it's like, hey, what's your favorite color, John? Oh, wait, it's blue. No, wait, wait, wait. First, explain to me, what does color even mean? No, color doesn't mean that. You're using the wrong dictionary. It actually means this. You know what I mean? So he uses a very slick tactic, and that's how he, quote unquote, wins his discussions with people, his debates. 
it's very disingenuous. You said, you said, you said, I'm going on, but you weren't listening to what I said. And then, I just want a yes or no answer. No, I'm not talking about no, no. what you're talking but about. You, you're talking do you about understand? It doesn't matter. What I've just okay, okay, wait, wait. what I, I just said. To talk about one What's your name again, bro? Chris. Chris, listen. I don't want I'm this. To talk about I don't want this to deteriorate. Look what he's trying to do again. He's asking, "What is your name?" It's Chris. You see, that's what he tries to do to kind of gain authority within the conversation, so that he can't keep making his point. Very disingenuous and manipulative. Enough to, yeah. I know, but you, you're not answering me. You're sort of what, what, what question have you asked that I haven't things. answered? Give me one question that you've asked that I've not answered. You're talking about things. That one question that you have asked me. What's the, the question that you asked me that I have not Listen, answered? I want to know the Muslim belief about yeah. the Quran. I've already told said, you. Is it true that yeah. the Quran is preserved eternally on a tablet? And you said, well, kind of. But and then you talked for a while about how all these other things are also preserved. Really, you could have said yes. Okay, just say. I want the very basic Islamic belief. Why, why should I, I don't answer? Want your right. interpretation of what that Islamic belief but is. But can I ask, uh, Chris? Yeah? yeah. Why do you care how I answer your questions? I why are you doing uh, I want why, to keep very uh, closely to the topic. No, no, it's deep, fine. No, no, but no, if it's relevant yeah. to the topic at hand. Right, right. And if it's edified, you yeah, said you yeah, want yeah, identification. You said yes. <laughs> yeah, but the answer I, is yes. I want to elaborate. Okay. Are you dictating how no, I'm answering I'm your questions? That you can't then just go on a tirade about other things. I'm not tirade. It's not a tirade. Okay, so let's just let's be very precise with our language. Uh, be very clear. Okay, keep, keep going, keep going. What, what's, what's the next right. question? So what I'm saying is, is it true then yeah. that there were reciters of the Quran yeah. by different codexes that had different numbers of surahs in those codexes? When you say reciters, let's be specific. What do you mean? Okay, so acceptable right. reciters or unacceptable? Kaab and Abdullah ibn Masood. Okay. Those are the two I'm referring to. Is it true in Islamic traditions that those two reciters of the Quran, who I, if I understand correctly, are said to be some of the greatest reciters of the Quran? Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay. They had different code, uh, codexes with different numbers of surahs in those Qurans. In the beginning, Ibn Masood did right. not consider Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas as part of the Quran. Okay. Yeah. And then he later retracted this position sure. at the time of Uthman ibn al-Affan mm -hmm. in the second legend. This is what Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani mentions in his, uh, in his compendious work, Fath al-Bari. Mm -hmm. So, is it true, in the beginning there was truth in the claim that Ibn Mas'ud, for instance, didn't consider chapter 113 and chapter 114 to be the Quran. But he later retracted okay. that position okay. in when the ijma happened or the consensus happened among the Sahaba companions. Sure, sure. Okay, so my argument then is that it is not viable to say that the Quran has been perfectly preserved if those who knew Muhammad, who were the companions of Muhammad, who heard him recite the revelation, yeah. differed on that revelation and could not agree on what it was. What is the, your definition of preservation? I'm talking about the Islamic definition. What is the Islamic is definition? Perfect. In other words, yeah, yeah. there is no difference in words. No, that's no not what the Islamic definition is. That's, that's, not, that's not what perfect No, 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 that's not what it means. Okay, so what is it then? Okay. Is your view that it is no, 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 everything no. is on that tablet? No, 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 no errors. You, see, now what you're doing is you're poisoning the well. Right. You've, Have excuse there me. ever been mistakes? Chris, 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 yeah. listen to me. You're poisoning the well, okay. and you're not learning. Okay. I'm not here to learn. You are here to learn. I'm, I'm here to have a debate with you. Do you know how to speak Arabic? I'm here to have a debate. Why? 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 What is, do you even, do, guys, there's so many issues with this. Do you even speak Arabic mid-debate about something totally not related to speaking Arabic? What does this even have to do with it? Look how he just like jokes around and bullies people instead of answering his question. I've been waiting eight minutes here. Muhammad Hijab, answer his question. It's very simple. Why do I need to know Arabic? 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 So if you're not here to learn, no, and you, you're, so what are you here? But you're not on, you look, doing? you're here to learn. Okay, did I come here and say I, I was here to debate? You're, you're here to learn. Okay, <laughs> so okay, no, that's wait, number wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. Number two. No, 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 number two, no, 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 no. let me answer no, no, no. your question. See, yeah, yeah. don't just keep talking like this. Yeah, yeah. See, you're, you you're learning. You're waffling, 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 and then you throw it in You're learning. You're learning. That's not a way to do debate. Did you know that Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani... This is now just breaking down into insults. Yeah, I haven't insulted you. Have I insulted you? Have I insulted you? Lacking in knowledge. Have I insulted you? Are lacking in knowledge. You are lacking in knowledge. I haven't asked if you have a good comprehension of the English language. No, but that's not an insult. No, it is. It's belittling. He is belittling people. Doesn't matter. It's the truth. Because this is his way of winning arguments. I'm not winning an argument. I'm just. No, I'm not winning an argument. See, you agree, yeah? I agree. You're not winning the argument. Okay, fine. So I'm teaching you then. Yeah. No, you're not winning the argument. Okay, no problem. There is no. I have not made an argument. I'll probably agree okay. with that as well. Okay, good. Listen, right. what I'm saying... What do you want to say? Okay. My understanding yeah. from the Islamic point of view yeah. is that perfect preservation means there is no change in any of the Arabic uh, word, yeah. or word, letter for letter. Good. Right. Where's the source for that? Muslim scholars. Who? Okay, One Zach name. 
Is that Kanaka's not a Muslim scholar? He's not a Muslim scholar. No, he's, not, he's, not an, an, he's not a scholar on this. No, he's no, not no, authority. No, no. Okay, he's I not authority. Shabi Ali. Not authority. <laughs> I'm just going to keep naming scholars, you're going to go, not an authority. They're not, not, they're not an authority. So they don't know Arabic? No, they don't. I mean, Zakir Naik doesn't know Arabic. Zakir Naik doesn't know Arabic, no. Number one, no. No, first of all, he, he says that himself. He, he, he says that in his lectures, Dr. I don't know Arabic. Dr. Shabi Ali know Arabic? Yeah, he does, but he's not, he's not an authority on this topic. He's not an authority. He's not, so let me explain so who So he's are, not an authority on the he's earliest not, Quran manuscripts? Of course not. Dr. Shabi Ali? Yeah, he's not. He's not. He's, he's, he's an authority on Christianity. That's why he's done his PhD in. Yeah, he, he didn't do his. Did Palestine he do it? Did he? As, well. as far as I remember, he didn't do his PhD on manuscripts and early uh, codexes. No, he didn't. You don't I'm even know what you're talking. Sure he did. No, he, no he didn't. Sure he no, he didn't. Go and ask him. Asked, I've got his number on my phone. Do you want me to call him now and uh, do you ask him for you? He can, yeah. I've got Zakir Naik's number on my phone as well. I spoke, well, I spoke well, to him. Zakir oh yeah. I, no, 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 if you would you like me to ask him for you? These people that these people that you these people that you excuse me these people that you're mentioning these people that you're mentioning are not scholars of this specific why, field by their own admission. Why did Dr. Yasakadi peer review? He didn't peer review. He's not. He's not an authority in this field either. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Doctor, um, no, he's not. I know him very. I know him personally. He's a good friend of mine. Sorry, my, you don't know what you're talking no, about, sir. Do, no, Doctor. Um, you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Yasakadi. Yeah. Is an expert on private manuscripts. No, he's not. He's not. No, he's not. Okay, he peer reviewed. No, he's not. Doctor. He never. He's Rube never claimed. Look, excuse me. He's never once, uh, Yasser Qadi, okay. I know him very personally and very He's well. never written a letter to Dr. He is, Daniel Brubank. That, that doesn't make him an authority. It's a peer review. That peer doesn't make him an authority. He works, he's a, How he's does a that doctor. make him an authority? He has a PhD. He works at right, the University right. of Rice. Chris, Chris. He peer reviews Chris. a book he's an about Quranic Chris, manuscripts. Chris, just, to, just yeah. to be clear, mm. Yasser Qadi's specialism mm. is theological heresiology, yeah? Mm. In the early days. Well, he's doing something wrong then. He's peer reviewing. Anyway, it. anyway, look, I don't want to get into this. You got that wrong. Uh, I know him personally. I speak to him regularly. Okay. What are you well, talking about? His, reply, his specialism, his specialism is is is, is, is aqidah, basically. Okay, but he feels right. in look. reply on Dr. Okay, listen, uh, book Chris, about Chris. The Chris. About Dr. Shabir Ali, by the way, his, his PhD is in biblical oh, literature. Sorry, I, I misspoke. Yeah. When I okay. said Shabir Ali, I meant I mean Yasser Khadi. Sorry. Okay, look, Chris. Sorry, sorry. Let me let me just explain to you who our authorities are. Because well, I, are you in a position to dictate though? Pardon? Yes, I am. Yeah. You were in a position yeah, to dictate the yes, authorities yeah, of Islam? Yes, I am. Because I, 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 this, in, a, in accordance with the, basically the view of scholarship, Islamic scholarship. So for example, we have three groups of, you can say, the Mutaqaddimin. In the, in the Mutaqaddimin period, which is the early period of Islam, you have the Sahaba themselves, the companions, like you've mentioned, Mas'ud is an authority, a major authority, Ibn Abbas and those guys. And then you have the Tabi'in and so on, of course. But then, in terms of written works, you have people like a Tabari. He's a major authority. Abu Amr al-Dani, he's a major authority. These are the early authorities. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me finish. Why, why are you... Because you, you, okay, you let me tell you what, be a lecturer. No, I've made I'm points, not, I'm so you just, don't address them. Uh, Chris, just Chris, a no, no, because well, well, the reason why this is important, well, your, your point was, you said... Not being preserved. No, 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 no right. you said that preservation means, yeah, yeah. perfect preservation, that no, there's no... Ver you and said, you disagree. You said what? what? Can you repeat I said what you said? That there is no difference in letter by letter. Yeah, no difference, dog, but I'm saying right. no one said that. No one said, I can't find people in this no, park. No, 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 who cares about this park? This park is either lay people. So you're disagreeing with Mansour? No, no, no. You're disagreeing with Mansour? No, 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 let me... I don't know what Mansour said, so for me to disagree with that. I'm not going to take it from you. Mansour has said... No, no, Mansour is not an authority either. Listen, listen, sorry. Okay, so Mansour is No, I'm not going to say that you're putting well, words in my mouth. Be, be genuine with your okay, speech. Okay. I am being he's, genuine. Look, I know look. what he has said. I have spoke to him doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I have seen it videos. doesn't matter. See, when I give you this an argument, you say it doesn't matter. No, I'm matter. saying it doesn't. Because right, right. what so we I've have to do... I've demonstrated to you that Muslims Chris. do make that argument. Who? Mansour. I literally he, gave I'm telling you authorities. You're telling me Mansour. Right, okay. So Mansour is an authority. I, so are we authorities? He has no idea. We're not authorities here. Well, you just said you could teach me. No, no, no. You're claiming to be an authority. People are not going to be a scholar. No, no, no. No, no. That's a mistake. You see, this is what he tries to do. He tries not only belittling him and just like uh, insulting him, but after he does that, then he tries to belittle his arguments and make it seem like he's making the most silliest arguments ever when that's so far from the case. He's actually making pretty decent, genuine argumentations against Islam, and he's actually using Islamic sources. I don't know how many people can do that, but... That's actually such an accomplishment. You're refuting Islam with their own resources. He's using the Quran itself. And then on top of it, he's actually using Islamic scholars. 
Islamic academic scholarly work in order to support his claims. He's saying, hey, by the way, your scholar, your educated scholar with multiple PhDs actually supports the claim that I'm making right now. And so does your Quran. But I'm using your scholars as a reference for evidence for the claim that I'm making on the Quran. So you're not just saying I'm just some white man interpreting the Quran in English. I'm actually showing what your scholars are saying as well. And then you're just rejecting it because it doesn't fit your narrative, Muhammad Ajab. That's basically what's happening right now, guys. Very sad and silly. No, I'm not sorry. This guy a scholar. Yeah, no, yeah, please. Yeah, of course. I've right. never claimed okay. that about myself at all. So let's let's just Chris. get rid of this whole teaching thing then. No, let's no, no, just no. make an argument and a point by point conversation. Call it whatever you want to call it. Okay. Okay, so no I'm problem. I'm saying there were yeah. early disagreements about what the Quran should have been. No, no, no. But Chris, your first up, point. Sorry. No, no. Excuse me. Chris, your first point was mm -hmm. that you said preservation means mm -hmm. that it's uh, there's no change in any word. Right. Letter I'm by letter. Yeah, yeah. That's not that's not true. For example, so like, let me give you. Chris, let me. No, I need no, no I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is right. that the understanding of preservation, hayf, yes, mm -hmm. the, the understanding of hayf or preservation is not, mm -hmm. is not mm -hmm. that there's no variance. That's, so there are variants in the Quran. Absolutely, everyone agrees that. Everyone agrees there are variants yeah, in the Quran. Yeah, Chris, yes, yes. Be yeah, yeah, Chris. Wow. Chris, yeah. All right. Thank you. Chris, yes. My argument I wanted to make no, 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 was me. Chris. to demonstrate Chris. that the Quran has not been perfectly no, no, preserved. And you've disagreed? No, no, no Chris. Listen, it's Chris, just, Chris. What? Uh, you, we don't need any more. You, you're, you're, you're either acting the fool or you are the no, fool. No, no, I only wanted to know. You're either acting the fool or you are, you're, you're embarrassing no, no, no. yourself. I asked you. You are. See, you're, you're ad hominem. Yeah, ad hominem again. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. He just did ad hominem and he just said it's it not. It's, it's not an ad, ad hominem. Yeah. It's an ad hominem. You see, guys, now it's just getting silly, and I can't do that to you guys. I can't disrespect your time like that. Like, I can't disrespect my own time like that, guys. Like, this dude is literally, I mean, it's just so silly and disingenuous. He's not even trying to have a debate or proper discussion. He now, he couldn't answer his question. Gosh, guys, there's so many issues, but he couldn't answer his question. Then not only could he not answer his question, but then he resorts to, oh, well, you said ad hominem incorrectly. So therefore, I have to correct you on that. And then we're just going to debate about something else because I can't answer the first question. It's just so disingenuous. Muslims, you got to wake up. You got to see that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. If he's the Messiah to come, then he is God Almighty in the flesh. If Jesus Christ came from Mary's womb, who is his father? His, his I mean, yeah, You guys have to really think about this stuff. Yeah, his mother is Mary in the flesh of his fleshly body, but who's his father, right? The Holy Spirit that was inside Mary. What was that Holy Spirit? You guys have to falsely say it was Angel Gabriel. There's no evidence alluding to that in the Quran. It's literally the Holy Spirit of God. So the Holy Spirit conceived Jesus Christ inside of a virgin woman named Mary. You guys believe in the same stuff we do. Why don't you guys accept that he's God? Because you guys limit him unto what he can be. And Islam was created to deceive the masses into believing Jesus is just a prophet. That he's the Messiah, he's just a prophet, but he's not God Almighty in the flesh. Why do you guys think Satan wants you guys to believe that Jesus is just a prophet and that Allah, the liar, the master deceiver, has faked his death on the cross? Because the only two things that save you guys is by believing Jesus died on the cross for your sins and two, that he's God Almighty in the flesh. Those are the two things I save you. Without any of those two things, you're going straight to hell. First class ticket to hell. That's the reality, guys. And I say this out of love. I don't say this out of hatred. I say this out of love. If you don't believe and repent in the gospel of Jesus Christ, you shall likewise perish. Those are Jesus's exact words. You can read all throughout Matthew, the book of the gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and, and, and John. Throughout the New Testament, the Old Testament, you see the same concept. But my point is, is that we have to believe in Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Or saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ, guys, alone. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this video was edifying. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, like, and share so that more people can see it. And it helps let the YouTube algorithm know that you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys enjoy and God bless.